Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the number one best-selling travel trailer that is perfect for full-time living. Built just like a fifth wheel. This is a 2022 Grand Design Reflection Model 315 RLTS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the reflection and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited today to be showing you the all new 2022 reflection. This isn't all new, what am I saying, Will? This is the best selling travel trailer yes. for people who are looking to full time in the entire planet. But before I begin, let's say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going today? It's going good, we're still here in Charleston, South Carolina. You mean we are here in Charleston. We are. Yes. that's right. Um, so today, this video is coming out on Friday, right? Yes. So today's the first day, obviously not really, but today's going to be the first day of the grand opening. Thank you to everybody who came out. But we, there are still another two days for anybody who didn't come. And um, again, ton. there's actually a ton of grand design here. Yes. Um, we're not in the grand design row. So you, there's a couple there, but there's a ton over there. If you're looking at grand design, this is the place to be. But there's tons of other brands. And I mean, you guys know grand design is a great, great manufacturer. Um, truthfully, if Alliance wasn't here, I probably would have got a grand design. Well, I mean, there's one Alliance right there if somebody that's, wants to look at fine. it. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Come by. And again, guys, if you're in the Charleston, South Carolina area, the address is 691 Treeland Drive, Ladson, South Carolina. We will be here tomorrow and Sunday. That's Saturday and Sunday, yes. the 23rd and 24th. Will, enough talking. Let's begin. All right. Model is 315 RLTS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 37 feet 11 inches the dry weight is 9443 pounds and the hitch weights 1100 pounds wow well this is a big heavy travel trailer built and designed like a fifth wheel now and this isn't half ton you know oh no not half ton don't don't worry about no, this. No, no, it's not hooked up. It's little just for puny, power. This little puny, <laughs> this little puny Titan here. Yeah, it's just for power. But a lot of people are going to be wondering, why would somebody want a reflection travel trailer that's this heavy? Why would they just not want a fifth wheel? And the reason why is because with this Kind of look at this setup. You if, then, you know, if this was hooked up, yep. you'd have this towing. And just like we have now, you got of a stuff truck. in the bed. You know, and a lot of people want to bring their golf carts yeah. or whatever with them. So... It kind of works like that. Right here, we do have got a front power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Right here is a beautiful molded painted fiberglass front cap. LED lights there, black paint, white paint. Looks really yeah, great. Yeah, the front looks great. Now, when we say a fiberglass front cap, what we mean is the side fiberglass actually ends here. And this is a cap that goes over. So the seams are right there. So it's a lot less likely to leak that way. Right here, we do got pass-through storage. Very nice. Slam latch doors held up by a magnet. I love that. And then coming on down the side here, we'll see it on the other side, but it does have electric stabilizing jacks. Nice power awning with LED lights right here. There's also a power awning with LED lights nice. on the slide out, which we love. Coming on down the side here. Oh, dang nabbit, Will. Right. Look at these what steps. Are those? <laughs> what are those? Oh, they do the solid stance underneath, just so you know as well. Yeah. Still, they're not solid steps. Even though that's a Lippert solid stance, it's not a Lippert solid step. Well, that's right. unacceptable. We don't like these steps. Here's what we do like. We do got a nice grab handle, and this does have the Arctic insulation package, which means it's good for four seasons, guys. That's right. Um, really, really nice. And then look at these tires, Will. Then we go to your endurance tires. ST235-80R16. Very nice. With your Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Uh, all grand designs are coming with the Lippert Tire Link. Cool. Tire pressure monitoring system. Love that feature. And then here, if you do want to have a TV on the outside, here's cable. And cool. Up. Coming around the back, we do have a nice hitch 
300 pound hitch of vertical weight. You cannot tow behind this. It does, oh, this one's oh. nice. It is coming with a backup camera. It's already in. Who the heck makes that? I don't know. It's not Lippert, but it's something and it's free, which is awesome. And there is a ladder to get up on the one piece TPO roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. I'm gonna need some help. I know, big step. You need me to boost you? No, I just need nobody to look. Right, and Daddy Don's here today. <laughs> Up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, you do have the fans. There is no covers, but you can add them. Wine guard, digital antenna. And then right there, you can see the solar panel already on the roof. Coming down. Here we go now. Last step. There you go. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Well, the RV salesman's taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what featured roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Here's the buttons for the extend. Very nice. Uh, leveling? Yes. Uh, stabilizing. So stabilizing, I mean, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, coming on down the side here, here's where we dump our tanks. 50 amp okay. power cord there. Very nice. Furion water heater. Nice. Um, what's really cool, guys, I was on Lipper's website yesterday. And uh, if you don't have a Furion water heater, you can buy them for real inexpensive. In the dealerships, they hook them up nice. real quick. Just saying. Yeah. Sponsor dad, not a sponsor dad. <laughs> right the there. Storage. Yes, sir. And then over here, look at this, Will. Just like a fifth wheel. Yeah. Big storage, water hookup station. I love this. Tank fills, potable water fill. Potable, potable. Gray tank, dump station, outdoor shower. Everything that you're looking for when it comes to hooking up your fifth wheel or travel trailer, this is it, well insulated on the inside. Yep. I love that. Cool. Well, well, the outside of the reflection looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Okay. Oh, I thought the lights were on. They were. The heck? Here, just walk through first. Okay. All right, up front is the bedroom. All right, here. Bathroom in the middle. Yes. Living room, dining area, kitchen, all right here in the back. Yes, Will, and while we get the lights on, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. Guys, this week's National Volunteer Week, so we encourage everybody to do their part and volunteer in their community. Big shout out to Lippert. This episode is sponsored by Lippert. This week is National Volunteer Week. As Lippert brand ambassadors, we are encouraging everyone to do their part and volunteer in their community. The Lippert Cares Initiative truly believes that business can be a force for good. Lippert gives back over 100,000 volunteer hours per year. This week, we are volunteering at Sea Island Habitat for Humanity. We hope everyone can join by giving back to their community. If you do, please use hashtag Lippert Cares so we can see all the amazing work that you are doing. Thank you so much to Lippert for sponsoring this video and doing good for the community. Let's continue the video. Well, yeah. there's a reason why you you guys see Grand Designs on the road more than any other travel trailer. Right. Uh, we're starting back here. Well, I mean, first, I literally feel like I'm in your fifth wheel. You know Do what you? I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because um, of the floor plan. And that, yeah, floor plan. Yeah. Look at the head height, y'all. head height is good in here, you know, for a travel trailer. It's no fifth wheel. but Right, again. Okay. Metaphorically. Speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look at this. Sideways swinging upper storage. You don't see this much. Right. Normally you see those um, south to north, north. Right. I like the sideways. Yes. And they're bigger. You can fit more stuff in. Right. Nice big windows. Good balances. Nice neutral gray tone colors. Privacy blinds right here. Okay, we got two end tables there. Yep. With some storage. Cool. Power underneath there. 
No USB or both? No, just out. Okay. And then here, looks like we got a trifold sofa. And you know yeah. what, Will? We're going to put this out. You know why? It's Charleston. Ooh. South Carolina. I was going to say South Carolina, that's why. But you went even deeper. Right. You went Charleston. I hope we get to meet everybody, guys. If you're if you're in the area, please come. Right. Look, even if you're not buying, they're gonna have hot dogs. They're gonna have ice cream. They're gonna have some good crap. Right. Come on down and see us. Right here. Look at that. Very nice. Tour some RVs. Right. It's gonna be a fun weekend. Very nice trifold. And then over here we got the theater seats. Okay. What do you see, Will? Yeah, nice theater seats with heat, massage, and little lights. Uh, power built in or no? Uh, no. It, it is a manual pull. Okay. But yes, Will's correct with all that. And there's three cup holders here. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice that's remote cool. remote holder here. Okay. And um, this centerpiece is removable. So when we go to the dinette, if you need more space and you need to move this down about six inches, you can do that. Cool. And then directly across from the theater seats is the entertainment center. Very nice. Yep, Jensen player. Nice cool. storage. Logic TV. It's my favorite brand. Storage right there. Is Ooh, it really? Nice drawer. Logic with an X. Yes, oh, yeah. Will. <laughs> 1080p to the fullest. And then the InnoFame fireplace. And then over here, Will. This is a nice type of dinette, kind of like you have in yours. It is, I like that setup. You got the chairs right there. Yeah. Again, it's gonna be a little tight over here, and so if you're bigger and you're sitting on this side, you can always remove that centerpiece of the theater seat. Okay. And then you got the boost style dinette right here. Great big windows all the way around. Show this real quick. Okay, yeah, some nice features here. Again, Grand Design, you know, they've really done a lot in the industry to step things up yes and the seat right here also doubles as like a little container or whatever Whoops. oh that's cool that's supposed to do that oh yeah nice um oh i don't know why like i think that's cool but then i'm like what would you ever need it off for truthfully oh uh, good point good point but again to use that as storage is great because yeah. that's where in will and jen's that's where they keep their extra pillow and blankets for me yeah well we'll show us the kitchen all right we will start over here Nice big, uh, you know, again, this is going to be a couple's travel trailer, so really nice features in the kitchen area. Huge pantry. You know, a lot of times you won't get a pantry that big in a travel trailer. Nice Fiorion, uh, regular microwave right here. A wine rack. Oh, and it's even got the wine glass holder there. Very nice. Little window on your non-camping side, and that window does open up. Three burner Fiorion cooktop. A little bit of counter space. Yes. Oh, an oven with blue lights, I think. Oh, yes. very nice. Drawer and a little bit of storage there and here. Nice storage. Yes. Did you even show the pantry? I did. Oh, wow, okay. And then over here we have a, how do you pronounce that? Hair. Hair. Harrier. H-A-I-E-R. Residential style looks really nice. Well, I don't care how you pronounce it. That yeah. is a nice fridge. It is. And freezer down below all drawers. Wow. Right there. Yes. Over here. A bit of storage up top here. Yes, sir. I like how they did that. They put a little stuff uh, over little there. little rubber, yep. Yep. And a little bit of storage there. Very nice. Nice backslash here. Small taco bar, but you could definitely make it work. A couple drawers here. Yes. Um, it is all, there's no uh, floor vent, floor vents. So that's a lot of your AC components. I like that. Heat components. Yes, yep. sir. That's what I mean, heat, yeah. Nice little spray faucet right here. Solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen, and it does have the solid surface inserts. Beautiful, Will. Nice full sink as well. Yes, single bowl sink. And a couple drawers here. And some storage underneath here. Yes, sir. Wow, big storage. Okay. Cool, let's check out that shower. All right. You know, travel trailer showers don't always have the best outcome, but 
I'm very, very impressed with this one. Wow. There's plenty of head height in here, again, for a travel trailer. Plenty of width, plenty of depth. It's even got the little holder here. So What's that, that for? So that, you know, if you go to the beach or whatever, Oh, look at here. that. I've never even seen that. Hang your clothes, your wet bathing suit or whatever and let it dry out. Well, does that get the shower test seal of approval? Sure does. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. That's right. Well, it's hot AF here. It oh is. Oh, my God. It's not even hot. It's like humid. I feel disgusting. Yeah. I hope Charleston's I look, humid. I hope I look disgusting for America. <laughs> So they because feel bad if, for you. Yeah, if I have to, to hit go, the like button. If I have to go through this, guys, make sure you smash that <laughs> thumbs up button. That looks good. Oh no. Well, it looks great. Feels great. It is great. Okay. This is a prime poop position. Bing. Very nice. Your face was scaring me for a sec. Oh, I do that sometimes. Well, wouldn't be the first time my face scared anybody. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, finishing up in the master bedroom. Look at this, got a quaint queen size bed. Okay. Very nice wardrobe here. This is actually very big. And look at how much space we have yeah. on this side and even that side. Now, do they option this with a king? Do you know? Uh, probably. I would assume so. I think they do. They probably uh, take the nightstands out or something. Yep, exactly. Again, with the big wardrobe. Right. Whatever you want to call this. The big storage yep. above the, uh, Bed. Above this, it's it's freaking fantastic. There's probably storage underneath the bed. You know it. Only in America. Only hey, only in Ladson, South Ladson, Carolina. Ladson, South Carolina. Right here, we got the TV backer. Nice satellite cable hookup. Okay. Uh, nice. Tons of drawer space. Yeah, storage is impeccable. It is very nice. And, and that then, wasn't enough. Here we go now. Oh yeah, look at this. Huge, huge. And it is prepped for a washer dryer over there. Yeah, so I don't know if it's combo because it's labeled on this side. It would have to be a combo because your dryer vent's there and your water is there. Okay. But well, still, yeah. You know, very, very nice. Oh. 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 Oh, snap. Oh, that's cool. Whoops. Let me show that. Very cool. Yeah. I love how they're making it multi-use. That's cool. It is cool, Will, and as cool as it is and as nice as it is, we're going to let everybody know the MSRP, and you guys aren't going to want to miss that because it's pretty impressive. Yeah. As in, built like a fifth wheel, priced like a fifth <laughs> wheel. But before we begin, we got to give people three things we like about it, three things we don't like about it. Will, what are we doing first? Three things we... It's going to be hard to dislike. Yes, Will, okay. we are on point. South Carolina is where it's at. Okay. I have two if you want to go first. Okay. I want to go out here. Mine is kind of a combo. It's going to be with these slides. Again, this is higher end, uh, full timing fifth wheel. I really think they should have done a flush floor slide there. Mm. It's annoying. And what is with the carpet? What the heck is that? Like, that's like 2016 right there. Well, yeah. So, one, you, you, you shouldn't have said that because that was my line. Sorry. <laughs> um, I see. Will just told, stole my line. So I am gonna combo that, Will. Okay. The look in here is so 2016. Yeah. And guys, when this brand came out, like I remember in 2015, 2016, is really when Grand Design went like, whoa. You right. know what I'm saying? They took off. Right, and um, just this look in here, it literally looked the same way that year. Yeah. Um, Which was great for that year, but if you don't innovate, you'll die. And right now, with what Grand Design's doing, truthfully, call me mean, but I'm not mean. I'm saying this well because I care, and Grand Design is our, in our top three favorite brands. Oh, for sure. But you can't just... They the wrote, quality's there, they and they're writing the off the name. They yeah. rode the wave of this look, and it's time to innovate. Yep, You I don't agree. innovate, you'll die, just like Blockbuster, just like Netflix. Is Netflix uh, dying? Yeah, they took a big hit the other day. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they done messed up. America, Netflix done messed up. Pull your stocks out. Okay, <laughs> that's dislike number one. Dislike number two and three, they were both outside, right? I remember one you told me earlier. Okay, which was, yeah, 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 That there was that one, but what was number two? Oh, probably that. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You, you, you tell us number two. This is number two? Yeah. 
Okay. Go outside, go outside. It's America. Again, truthfully, in 2016, they went from right around then. I don't know exactly. Nope, yep. Black steps yeah, to those steps. Yeah, they went from the black steps to these steps. And Which, everybody was loving it. Amazing. It was great. You were so, more stir so much more sturdy. They so much better. lighter. They were cleaner. Yeah. Yep, 100%. But now it's 2022. Both Lippert and Moride have solid yeah. steps now. And that's what we want. We want solid steps. There's no reason they couldn't have done the solid steps here. Yep. They should have done it. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, and didn't. Yeah. So that's number two, Will. And then number three, we're going to kind of go a little weird. Okay. You guys are going to hear the MSRP in a few moments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't like the electric stabilizing jacks on a travel trailer like this. Yep. Now, look at all these travel trailers. You see everything, single travel trailer here on yep. the lot? I am fine with electric stabilizing jacks. I like that they have, that some of them are going to have electric stabilizing jacks. This unit at this price point in this category, I want four point auto leveling. Yep. You guys will know what we're talking about once you hear the price. Yeah, I agree. So that's that's three things we don't like. Well, now it's time for three things we love about it. Okay. You want to go first? Um, sure. Mine's gonna be on the inside. Are, oh, do you have one on the outside? Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Always when when I'm on the inside, his is on the outside, and then when we're on the outside, his is on the inside. What's number one? I'm gonna go with the bathroom space again. This is a great couple's coach for full timing in. The fact that you have a really nice big shower, great toilet placement, a little bit of sink areas, plenty of storage in here. And again, it just adds to the fact that you could easily full time in here. That's number one. Well, yes. number two, kind of piggybacking off of that, the amount of storage in here, both interior and exterior. The storage is absolutely amazing. It is. There's a ton of it, pantry, bedroom, Every nook and cranny has a ton of storage. And again, with once you are full timing, yes, this is a huge travel trailer, but at the end of the day, it's still a small travel trailer, yes. if that makes sense. Yep, I agree. So all that storage space makes sense and it's awesome. So that's number two. And then, well, I do have a number third if you don't. Go ahead. I'm just gonna say the grand design quality. Absolutely. Guys, yeah. listen, this might look like a 2016, but it's also built like a 2016 which was their pinnacle year you know what yeah. i'm saying um the qualities there i love the high roofs i love the slam latch doors i love the goodyear tires and just kind of like that overall fit and finish like you yeah, know show this. stuff's always going to go wrong but. just the the everything that grand design does when it comes to service uh warranty yes uh insulation test Everything that they do is just top of the line, top notch. And I love how they built this like a fifth wheel, even with the universal docking station. It's yeah. Just, it's just fan freaking fantastic. Cool. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP. I'm surprised our camera's not overheating. I know. MSRP. By the way, GoPro 10 suck in the heat. <laughs> MSRP on this child show here is... Seventy-three thousand nine hundred and fifty-seven dollars. Will MSRP? Crazy. That's crazy, y'all. Sale price though is gonna be a lot better. And again, guys, if you're watching this, guys, we're here in Charleston, South Carolina, and our friend Elijah is the GM of the store. And if you guys are interested in any Grand Design, anytime, but especially this weekend, make sure you come down to the RV One. Of Charleston South Carolina I don't know the store phone number but we'll link it down below guys email us call us you know and if you're willing to make the trip down here I promise you guys we're going to give you the best price on a grand design and will you know what's even better what's that this unit and all the other units not only are they in stock but they are available for sale yes so make sure you guys act soon because there's a lot of reflections solitudes um, um not a lot of imagines no. but a lot of transcends yeah yep. Well, anything you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you again so much for watching. And like Matt said, it's going to be an awesome weekend this weekend. Tons of units are here, especially travel trailers, fifth wheels. And we're excited to meet so many of you. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this reflection. And make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Yes, and you. Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.